Hello, YouTube. This is Chelsea the Destroyer, and we're going to watch a message from your favorite uh, CEOs featuring Brendan Lee Mulligan. Yeah. <laughs> so grab your snackies, grab your bevies. Let me know what you eat drink down below, and let's get to watching. Hi, America. Hi. My name's David Taylor. Uh -huh. I'm the CEO of the company that makes Tide and its corollary product, Tide Pods, which is what I want to talk to you about. Hey, so pod detergent, pod anything really, but specifically detergent, like those those pods don't really dissolve well unless you use like warm or hot water. But then warm or hot water also like maybe um, messes up the livelihood of your clothes. Livelihood? Life of your clothes, like it shortens the life of your clothes. So, also, does it have like, do you really need a Tide Pod? Anyway, about today, you gotta stop eating the Tide Pods, okay? Look, I get it. You guys are young, you're hip. You don't want an old guy telling you what to do. But Tide Pods are soap, and that's not food. <laughs> so, please stop eating the Tide Pods, okay? And make sure to keep an eye out for Cascade Dish Pops, the lollipop that cleans your dishes. That. Okay. Lolly, uh, can we stop? Can we, sorry. Mm. Are we calling it a lollipop? <laughs> I'd love to see one if I could just get it. If we can find one in. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Our company has been innovating new products. <laughs> <laughs> like no words. Since it was founded, and we're proud to continue that tradition with our Vicks VapoRub Winter Blast gum flavored bonbons. I would just, I would just assume they were like cough drops with menthol. That I think that's a thing. Is it? Is it? Do these look just like mints, like diner mints? I'm, I'm looking at it and man, that looks like a mint to me. I mean, <laughs> am I crazy? <laughs> what do you mean the same as Tide Pods? I also don't understand, now that we're talking about it, what does gum flavored mean in this context? Bubble gum flavored? Gum tastes like anything. <laughs> we're gonna get our fucking ass handed to us in court. <laughs> it's like I'm going to get sued all my money. You're not rolling on this, are you? Forget dryer <laughs> sheets with Gain Brand dryer powder. You simply pour the powder into the mixer. You take your dryer stick right here and this is cotton candy. <laughs> Am I the asshole? Like, how do you not get we can we just cut? Can, we cut, can you cut the camera real quick? I'm, I'm trying to understand right now how this happened. I've been busting my ass on this fucking Tide Pods fiasco, mm -hmm. and I turned my back for three seconds, and now our entire line of products is shaped like fucking candy. And I'm trying to understand how this <laughs> happened. Why are you crying? With Tampax push Why sickles, are you, crying? you get to choose between. Tampax what now? I'm sorry? Listen, back in the day, uh, tampons used to be soaked in opium, and then you insert it in there, and then you just zooted, okay? So, like, I'm just saying, I, I mean, I, please don't freeze your tampons. Like, I don't... I, I feel like you shouldn't freeze your tampons i could be wrong maybe it does nothing i don't i don't i uh. chili cherry frosty fruit punch or ice cold cranberry we okay why are they flavored why the fuck are they flavored why only should none of these be flavored mm -hmm. because why would you flavor them this is the coldest thing i've ever held <laughs> They're all red, so all the colors are red, yeah. Just... Oh my god. <laughs> fucking why? Why does it have 
have liquid possibly in it already. Like, I don't, like, mm, that's going to affect the ability for it to do its thing. I don't. Hmm. And as in everything else today, people will try to eat these. Even yeah, if they're they not will. poisonous, we don't want people eating fucking tampons. Those are poisonous. Why are they poisonous? Fun fact, apparently, uh, some, some lead and possibly arsenic was found in a bunch of tampons. Not sure how that happened or why. Yeah. You'll go cuckoo for cleanliness with our cocoa butter premium Pampers brand chuck so the kids eat shit. Right? Uh, that's what this is. The kids, they eat shit. It's chocolate, diaper, poop. That's Let's gross. See here. Oh, there it is. Hey! Is it chocolate? Is it poop? Do we care? Does anyone care? Who knows? Who gives a fuck, right? I'm not going to do this product, so we'll be moving on. Jesus Christ. Okay. What you got, Try buddy? Crest brand dinner paste for the hungry consumer on the go. Throw a fluoride filled meal bag in your gullet. Oh. So it's like liquid calorie made or? <laughs> like, hmm. <laughs> so, like, like. That's just baby food paste that exists. <laughs> it's like liquid calorie mate in a tube. Or like, it's like, okay, you guys know, they make like, um, those like, go squeezies or whatever the hell they are. They have like, um, like applesauce and there's yogurt ones now. Like, that's just what that is. It's just in a toothpaste tube. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, ew, no, it's meat. Ah, it looks like meat. Oh my God, ew. Oh my God, that's so gross, actually, ew. So we do make food. <laughs> Fucking do you though? So we do now make <coughs> food. Meal bag. Meal bag tested very well. I'll kill you. It doesn't matter if we make... <laughs> More drink. Hi, welcome. ...the day, because none of follow. this is going to be usable. <clears throat> do you understand? What That's a hamburger. It's a it looks like chicken. That's a razor. <laughs> That's a Gillette razor. Bring me shaving cream. First of all, you're telling me that's not a chicken sandwich. Right now. And if it doesn't shave my face, it's your ass. How is that? How is that a burger? Why does it look like that? Where did they get that burger? It does not. <clears throat> I mean, now I can see it doesn't look like chicken, but it doesn't. Why does it look like that? You get that, right? Here we go. I know that they have something in that burger and he's not actually swiping a burger across his face. But think of how greasy that would be and I hate it. Like, I hate it. Have a good night, Bash. I is, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Oh my God. That is a killer shave. That is like... Baby's bottom smooth. The other stuff, I don't know about, but this is, the hamburger is working for me. <coughs> Hi, America. My name is Brian Hale, and I'm the CEO of ABC. Our company Hi. has always sought to produce wholesome, original content that All brings right. people together across the aisle. But recently, we've had a couple big misses. Roseanne, Last Man Standing, <clears throat> these were attempts at bringing us together that ultimately couldn't connect with our core values. For that, we apologize. Moving okay. forward, we want to prove to you that we are redoubling our efforts to create programming that speaks to the heartland while not attacking <clears throat> the very core of human decency. So thanks for watching. The very core of human decency. All Make right. Make sure to tune in for this fall's newest sitcom, Baby Immigrant, starring Adam Carolla, Ted Nugent, and Jeff Dunham.
This is a fucking time bomb, man. Give me a break. <laughs> Adam Carolla? <clears throat> Ted Nugent, can Ted Nugent act? ABC isn't just for families either. Keep an mm -hmm. eye out for this fall's Divarsity, where two college athletes will lose their scholarships unless they can trick their friends and faculty into thinking they're women of color. Oh, God. Who agreed to be in this show? Logan Paul. Logan Paul? <clears throat> and the sweaty guy from the Charlottesville right? The sweaty guy from the Charlotte... <sighs> ABC's more than just comedy. Our new soap opera, Blue Lives to Live, tells the story of a police precinct full of romance, betrayal, and the one woman brave enough to delete over 300 hours of body cam footage. It's like y'all are trying to get me absolutely fired, huh? Like what? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> y'all trying? Y'all trying to take out the entirety of ABC, huh? We're Fuck, man. <laughs> Tell me we have something that will not cause a boycott. We have a reboot. A reboot? Family matters. Family matters. Hell yeah. It's a blast from the past here at ABC. Let, let's go, Family Matters. How are you going to fuck this up, though? Because we're <clears> heading back to Chicago to catch up with the Winslow family and old Steve Urkel in All Families Matter. The all There it is. All right. All white <clears throat> reboot of the <clears throat> classic. No! The what? No! Don't move over to get the poster. Back on me. Uh, I took care of Roseanne. I took care of Tim <clears throat> Allen. How is this shit getting greenlit? We cannot keep <laughs> selling shows to Fox. <laughs> For fans of Chicago Med and Chicago Fire, <laughs> make sure to check out Chicago EM. <laughs> That's a broken man. <laughs> T and Chicago Clan coming to. Okay. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I caught it at the last second. I'm sorry. The what? Chicago Clan. Who did this show test well with? Can I see the demo information, please? Thank you. <coughs> okay, so I've noticed something. This survey was conducted at a Klan rally. Why? Do you think that there's a problem with that? <coughs> why would you, foray. why were you even at a clown? Clown, clown, well, clan. It's kind of a, why were you at that rally? <coughs> what, like, why? <laughs> why, what? into prestige journalism, we're excited to bring our new hour-long, in-depth investigative reporting program, News for White People, with co-anchors Mel Gibson and any blonde woman. <laughs> any blonde woman, huh? No Homo, starring Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> Greenlit, The Handmaid's Tale, but we frame it like it's a good thing, starring Patricia Heaton. Mm -hmm. Other than the title, guys, you know that's Greenlit. School Shooter Shooter, starring a digitally reanimated Charlton Heston <clears throat> and Ted Nugent, the Nuge? You know I gotta greenlight the Nuge. I wanted to do something good. You know, bring the left and the right together. We're so divided, <clears throat> I just thought. And you guys hired all these racist lunatics. And that's not what I, look, I mean, can, Bridget, can we get that poll information? <clears throat> you wanna know the number one thing that mm -hmm. middle Americans wanted to see on TV? It, look, it was uh, racist lunatics. That's, they wrote, they had to bubble in other and write that. That was obviously not one of the options we put in. <clears throat> This country is fucked. Yeah, it's bad. Well, they loved Baby Immigrant. We aired Baby Immigrant? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> First in the time slot? <clears throat> First in the time slot? It's money. I mean, we can get Nugent an acting coach, right?
God, I felt that, though. Hi, America. My name is Rob <coughs> Shelton, and I'm the CEO of Venmo, the simple, fun money app that enables quick and easy payments between friends uh -huh. while providing the full experience. <coughs> Aurelian? <coughs> Hi, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Of a social media platform. Venmo started out as the dream of two engineering students. Okay. What if you could like a financial transaction? Why? What if you could friend request? Hold up. Is that a thing? I, um, <clears throat> I don't have Venmo. <laughs> like, maybe too old for Venmo. I mean, like, I've never, it's never really come up. You can like it? Why? Ask your landlord. What if you could comment on a work colleague's electricity bill? This what? exciting idea was roundly rejected by the vast majority of our user base, okay, who great. foolishly chose to ignore all the fun social aspects of uh, Venmo that we worked so hard on. Guys, we're in the middle of a take. Uh, can we just lock it up? What's going on? No, I read it correctly. I'm calling them foolish. <clears throat> because Venmo is fun, and you'd have to be stupid to not realize that. It's fun! With Facebook quickly unraveling democracy and Twitter full to bursting with Nazis, why not head over to Venmo and make us the new home of social media? Post your heart out with the understanding that every post must be accompanied by a financial transaction of some sort. <coughs> Is that what's messing us up? I, I don't want people to... I don't... Mind your business. What? What do you mean? You know everything I spend money. Not your business. That you can't just post. That it has to be accompanied by an exchange of money. I don't think that's it. No. No, that that rules. That kicks ass. It doesn't. It's the f users, man. They suck. They suck. <laughs> they suck. I'm good. I'm good. They suck. No. Of course, the board knows I'm doing this. What do you think? I'm, I'm the CEO of the, you, oh, is that them on the phone? Hi, Walter, hello. I can hear you're upset. So what I'm to understand is that once we are ex He's got the crazies. He's got like the crazy eyes and the, the bit, like, <clears throat> you know when like, your mouth rounds when you're talking because you want to enunciate correct like like super clearly and like you got the crazy eyes <laughs> extremely profitable <clears throat> the company has accomplished its objective you do feel that way well i find that boring i don't think that's cool and i think <clears throat> cool is something that is a form of currency as well don't yell the reason no, no. I was brought onto this company is that I understand young people. <clears throat> I know what's hip. <clears throat> I know what's on. I know what's lit. I know what's fleek. That's why Do I'm you? here. You're young. You're young. You're an intern, right? Y yeah. You want Soch? Mm -hmm. You want Soch Mead? You want the Soch Mead? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Please don't call it Soch Mead. What's your finance app? What do you use for finance? Uh, what do you use for finance? Hello? Uh, square. Uh, square? Square? Square cash? <laughs> You're fired. You're fired. You didn't see it before, but she's she's very hostile. Kai right Sana? Hi, thanks for the follow. Welcome. <clears throat> with Venmo Platinum, you'll be able to socialize with only the most active Venmo users. Celebrities, improv coaches, drug dealers. And with such features okay. as scheduled payments, so you're verification, aware. and <laughs> actually being tell if you're able Actually being able to tell whether or not you're paying the right person. The future of Venmo <clears throat> is more than golden. So you only get that if you pay for platinum. Understood. It's platinum. But you can only get it if you routinely get 20 likes on a post. How hard is that? I I'm not asking I need you to calm down. the Red Sea here. I'm asking for some engaging <clears throat> content that we can license into a franchise of Dwayne The Rock Johnson films. <gasps> I mean, Facebook is full of Russian bots and 9-11 truthers. Twitter is <laughs> pledge week at the Reichstag. The planets have aligned for Venmo's big day, and we're blowing it because of you. You guys know you can put whatever you want in the comments, right? You don't have to say it's the actual thing that you're paying for. Instead of a cab, right, write blowjob. 
ha 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 ha! That's comedy, okay? Something is one thing, but through comedy, you just you say blowjob, and it's funny. Are you okay? What do you mean people are naturally shy and antisocial when they're discussing their personal finances? Yeah, that's you it. You sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you can be in a movie with The Rock. Do you want that? Or do you want to live a stupid life where nothing happens? <laughs> Sounds like he's crying. Is he crying? Vimo money, Vimo problems. Could have been you. Oh shit, it's me. Hey man, are you okay? <laughs> Movie pass. Movie pass. We're here to, to shoot the PSA, but we, we can come back another time if you need... Um... We're here for the Movie Pass C -E CBA, <clears throat> P -P -P PSA. Call me sleeping on the floor a little bit. Um, well, you know, you're pulling long hours, you care about a company, as the CEOs do. Uh, um, my house is fine, I have, a, I have, my, I have my house still. Um, good morning, America. I'm Jonathan Floor, CEO of MoviePass, the company revolutionizing the way you see movies. Now, you may have heard- mm, Okay. The outfit's driving me insane. All right. <clears throat> heard some rumors and gossip about us going out of business, but the important thing oh, is this. MoviePass is here to stay. It's taken us a couple tries to get it right. I mean, who knew people would see, truly, so many movies? I only thought they made like 20 movies a year. I way underguessed. They make- How, how, if you're, how would you fuck up that badly? Truly, how do you... um, what, like hundreds, right? Yeah. How many? Oh, more, like, like thousands. Thousands? According to our accounting department, yeah. we were losing money <laughs> on every single subscriber. Okay, sometimes in business you gotta lose money to lose money. Make money. Fuck. Changes <laughs> have to be made here at Movie Pass. They have to. They just have to. And we want to be totally transparent with you about those changes. I've been emailing you guys conservatively three to ten times a day for the past. Conservatively three to ten times. You know, I could be emailing you every hour. That would be twenty-four times a day. But I've been conservative, and like. Max 10. Five weeks keeping you updated on what's new and exciting in MoviePass. We've kept you informed about doing surcharges, not doing surcharges, letting you see select movies, only letting you see movies at select times. And our research is showing that none of those strategies have worked and you didn't like them all. But that's okay. Okay. Because if you try hard and you never give up and you never stop running, they'll never catch you. Excuse me? Just because something doesn't work doesn't mean it doesn't work. In an effort to address these issues, we're unveiling total overhaul to the MoviePass system. Now, uh -huh. to be clear, nobody is being kicked off their subscription. <laughs> we won't even let you cancel your subscription. Why do we kick you off? <laughs> Instead, oh we're God. unveiling a few new Jesus options Christ. that should delight and reward our loyal uh, subscribers. One sec, guys, sorry. Um, I have to take this. I'm so sorry. Hi, Dimitri. I'm getting the money. I'm getting it. How's Molly? Is she okay? Oh, you can put her on the phone. Molly, hi, it's Daddy. Are the men, the men are all right? They're not oh. good. Oh, no. Sweetie, you can't cancel your subscription. <laughs> what if we gave people movies to watch in their homes? Like if we had retail locations? Like yes, instead it's of- just, That's Blockbuster. Blockbuster? How's Blockbuster doing? What's their market share? Are they doing good? No. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. How about this? You want to see a movie? You want to see- I think Redbox is in trouble right now. Money-wise. Like, I think they're losing a lot of money and Redbox might be shutting down. Just FYI. A movie. Come to our office. <laughs> I'll- act out the movies for you. With the new Thespian Pass, movies come alive in front of you. I just saw Crazy Rich Asians, it was great. Give me a heads up, give me like, just tell me if you're gonna come like a week in advance and I'll do the whole thing for you. I'll get costumes, I'll get hats. It'll be so fun. Please. That sounds like, please don't, that sounds like my nightmare, 100%. No. Why? I'll be all the Crazy Rich Asians. With Simon Movie Pass, 
You get to fuck me, Jonathan Floor, CEO of Movie Pass, as much as you want, as hard as you want, for two hours. It doesn't have to be two hours. You can go longer if you want. We can do it. Just. Oh, and you also can see Mission Impossible, the original one, not the new one. We couldn't. We couldn't make that happen. How about this? Okay, what about a movie pass where it's it's pay as you go? It's like a la carte, right? So it's between $8, $20, depending on where you live, what theater <laughs> you're going to, the location, and you would just buy individual movie passes from the theater ahead of the show. Yeah, I, I, f I feel like that's... Don't. Just don't. Just don't. I'm hanging by a thread. Uh-oh. <laughs> hanging over its bottom. Oh. If I drop, I never hit the bottom. Do you get it? I was, I was gonna say, it's, it's a good- This version of Brendan would cry. <laughs> like, like, like during that two hours of say any of it really, he'd be crazy. Like, he's, he's going through it. Idea. Okay, do you wanna buy, shit, do you wanna buy Movie Pass? With the new Junior Mints Movie Pass, see any movie you want, as long as you buy all the Junior Mints at the theater. <laughs> all I know that's them. a lot of Junior Mints, right? But here's the thing, if you don't like Junior Mints, that's fine, throw them out. They're yours to do with what you will. Dimitri says hello. Oh, no, 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 guys, listen, wait, you're not being reasonable. I'm gonna get the money, wait, 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 wait. Do you guys wanna buy Movie Pass? Yeah. No, listen, hey, okay, new Movie Pass. Rescue me and you can see any movie you want. <laughs> hey, internet citizens, it's me, Harry <clears throat> Pancake. Tumblr CEO, buddy. How's it going? How's how's life? How's how's Tumblr? How's it going? The CEO of Tumblr. We've begun the difficult process mm -hmm. of removing all adult content from our platform. I lived through this. Oh. I was there. We know some of our users are unhappy with this decision. All of them. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's it's okay. If you are a platform that has allowed adult content and then one day decides we're going to get rid of the adult content. Cool. You're going to basically just shut down like like Tumblr's still somehow around, but it went from being like a, a billion dollar company to getting sold for a fraction of that. Like like. I understand that you're trying to appease and appear nice to credit card companies and you know investors and stuff like that but if you allowed adult content and you're gonna buy a company and then you're gonna like ban all adult content it, it's n like nothing like no absolutely not that's it's not gonna work out in your favor just a hundred percent but Tumblr's a family company and there's so much of what we do have to offer that is SFW, short for mm -hmm. safe, sure. fun, and wholesome. That's not what that means, but all right. <laughs> We're still having fun, come on. Tumblr's a vibrant space for artists, comedians, young activists, and the many non-pornographic communities that make up our platform. Consider the thriving mm -hmm. mascot community we have here on Tumblr. These sports heads can't get enough of their team's mascots. If you spend any time at all scrolling under the fur. hashtag you'll be wowed at their craftsmanship ingenuity and dedication mm -hmm. yeah you uh you look at that poster harder did you uh notice something about that what am i looking at here carm because that uh mm -hmm. so you're telling me i'm looking at this lion I guess centaur penetrating this lady koala from behind. Mm -hmm. That is not indicative of what the furry community is about. It, so, it extremely is. What? Okay, so you're telling me that if I go to Yif party. Don't do it. <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> so oh, 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 no, oh. Uh. Okay. The entire furry community is just these foxes and badgers and dragons all b banging each other? I... Well, dragons call themselves scalies. Do you think that was my question? Was what the nomenclature of these fucking... What is this frog doing 
with its nipples. How does this not violate our extremely clarified nipple policy? Well, frogs normally don't have nipples, so we couldn't tell if they were female presenting. The frogs got tits out to here, <laughs> Carmen. I've never seen bigger tits in my life. <laughs> Where? Go to hell. Tumblr is about creativity, not smut. Look at the great fan-created fiction that's already on here. Sherlock Holmes, as a high school student, shared over 800... <laughs> My guy, did you read it? <laughs> Hi, Mac. How's it going? Welcome. <laughs> did you read it? There's a reason it was shared over 800,000 times. Cyan. Thousand times. The untold adventures of Samwise and Frodo sharing a villa in the Tuscan countryside? How mm -hmm. creative is that? Here, yeah. I want to read you. There was only one bed. Do a passage from one of my favorite fan created fictions Harry Potter and the Wand of Impossible Girth. But. What is the quote? Oh, what is the quote? Oh no, what is the quote? It's a Gary Oak. Oh, what is the Gary Oak quote? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I gotta, hold on. <laughs> my name is Gary motherfucking Oak and you cannot ignore my girth. <laughs> Understand, Dobby. I gave you my sock. Why do you want the rest of my clothes? Dobby gripped the tender balls of the boy who lived <laughs> and whispered, Dobby is master now, and Cornelius Fudge gets to watch. I. What do you mean? <clears throat> Why are eyeshadow, lipstick, and mascara never mad at each other? <coughs> because they always make up. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Leon, how's it going? I'm fucking dying. Okay. Conservatively. I thought, I thought, hold on. I, buddy, I thought this was, I thought this was your favorite. Why, do you, why were you surprised? I. <coughs> conservatively. What percentage of our platform is porn? Nine. Nine percent? Ninety? Martha, I'm not. <laughs> angry. I, I just am trying to understand how this didn't get to me. When I started oh this God. website, I wanted it to be about buddies doing social media. That's why I started the BDSM tab. <laughs> it's full of what? <laughs> well, it can't all be porn, okay? It can't all. <laughs> it's not all, but it was like the majority of it. And even though, like, it might not have been the majority, but like the amount of people that left, <clears throat> buddy. It'll be porn. There's got to be some not porn on the platform. Activists, we have got <clears throat> young activists. Head over to Socialist, put up Socialist Tumblr, and I bet there's... <laughs> cute. That's oh real cute, gang. Oh my so, god. what? 
This is <clears throat> seizing the means of production. I will find it. I will find the non-porn, all right? Cooking, look, this eggplant is sprinkling water on <coughs> oh, man, no. Family, okay, <coughs> family values. Thirsty stepsister needs a big, nope, she doesn't need that, and in fact, nobody needs that. Something boring, something boring. Uh, craftsmanship, DIY. Here, watch a hydraulic press crush my quivering virgin asshole. Why is everyone on the internet so horny? Why is nobody <laughs> obeying rule 34? Be polite. <clears throat> is that what you think rule 34 is? <laughs> what percentage of our platform is porn? Yes. <laughs> is there a it's, different rule 34? Yes. So you're telling me that if I put in any, any, anything, uh, uh, a Bronson Pincho, perfect strangers, Straight guy, first time anal bareback that it... <laughs> it's 12 million results. It's 12 million results. That's the real Bronson Pinchot. <clears throat> well, he's working. <laughs> well, I don't understand what the octopus is getting out of any of this. And frankly, the young woman doesn't look very happy either. And this is under the cartoons tab. Yabba dabba, do not search under there if you want to just watch some Flintstones or something wholesome. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Guess I'm the idiot, right? Yeah, you shouldn't ban porn from your platform if it's had porn the entire time it's existed. Just a fool. One <clears throat> website, some artsy photos of rain, a couple of bad poems, and a conversation format that was frankly impossible to follow. <laughs> it wasn't that hard to follow. Also, like, then you should have come out the gate with a hey. <clears throat> NSFW isn't allowed, like, at, at the inception, like, at the beginning, okay? You can't do it later. You can't do it after the fact. Jokopi? Yes, these are, these are very funny. Hello, welcome. <clears throat> you took my dream and you stuffed it up with dicks and pussies and hard glints. Jesus. Is that on post? Really? Yeah, it's a neo-Nazi advocate of genocide. Should we take this down, too? I beg your pardon? Freedom of speech, heard of it? <clears throat> wow. Hey gang, Brennan here. If you dig college humor and want to support what we do, <laughs> sign up for Dropout. For the cost of a very big dumpling per month, you'll get a very videos big like dumpling. this a whole week sooner. <clears throat> to chat with us live in the Dropout Discord. And exclusive content such as Dimension 20. There are no stupid questions. Are you my freaking dad? <laughs> oh wow. So sign up for your free trial today. Or don't, you know, do what you think is right. I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I don't, I don't even know you, that would be crazy. I, um, it was wrong of me to tell you what to do. I'm sorry, and that's on me. I'm ruining the <clears throat> CTA. I really, really like Brendan Lee Mulligan. He's very funny, he's very good at what he does. <clears throat> oh my God. The Tumblr one was made for me though. Like that's a that's under I was there. That's a hundred percent. Like, oh, I got so many feelings about it. And then like they kind of tried to like roll it back, like, well, artistic stuff is fine, but it has to be like art. But then they were like a little vague about the like what was allowed and what was art, like considered art and like <clears throat> you make a, a lot of arguments. Not arguments? Well, I guess arguments. Like there's there's a lot, okay, about like uh, what art is and what is considered art and all this other stuff. <clears throat> it's kind of vague, but like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> just uh, I was there. Occasionally, I still go back to it too. And when I do, it's like I put like I reblog like twenty billion things, and then I don't go back to it for another like six months. <laughs> like, 